All right, it's time to take a walk on the wild side here on the Now Buffalo. We try to introduce you to Western New Yorkers with some unique hobbies. Well, tonight, our Mike Randall introduces us to a man who finds the paranormal perfectly normal, and he has the collection to prove it. He's an interesting guy with a very weird collection. When we first got married, my wife said to me, I knew you were into this stuff, but I didn't know how deep. Tim Shaw's collection includes voodoo dolls, Ouija boards, and some perfectly harmless objects like dolls. They could hear the tapping on the glass, so they decided that it was time to get rid of it. According to Tim, some of these items have exhibited strange behavior. When they put it in a cabinet, it would go from one shelf to another shelf. Tim Shaw is a lecturer, psychic when medium, Jason and a collector of oddities. I was brought up Roman Catholic, and my father's family have been spiritualist since the 1880s. His collection includes religious objects, like the silver cross, used in 11 exorcisms, and this St. Joseph statue. And you put them in a plastic bag, and then you bury them, but the idea is you bury them upside down. Tim says following that ritual, sold his mother's house in record time. That house sold in four days. Tim has a collection of Ouija boards, 40 of them. If you saw the movie, you know that can be problematic. Spelled high friend. Tim says there's nothing scary about the boards. They're bad mojo. No, they're no. not. No, they're not. No. Ouija boards are nothing more than pieces of cardboard or wood. One of the most unusual pieces he keeps in a special box. Close your eyes if you're creeped out easily. A monkey paw. Tim says original owners of these items, long deceased, were in some cases still attached to the objects as ghosts. And the abbot swears he saw this monk praying to it. Tim takes his collection around as he lectures. To lessen the chance of any bad spirits still clinging to the items, he's attached religious medals. That keeps the spirit world quiet and his wife happy. I don't want these pieces to be wandering through my house. My wife would divorce me. For the Now Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.